Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. While apps do exist that claim to detect signal jammers, they are largely unproven and require a working signal to function. Without highly advanced, military-level technology at hand, it is virtually impossible for the average consumer to definitively detect a cell phone jammer. Let's help you make your mark. What happens if you wrap your cell phone in tin foil? According to It Still Works, the aluminum ultimately disrupts access to your phone's antenna so no calls in or out can be made on the phone as long as it's wrapped. Take our lead. In order to find and locate the jammer, we need to know about the radio transmitter power, location where it is placed in the targeted network or system. Jammers are usually undetectable in the system as users might have poor reception in case of mobile network jammers. Let's help you make your mark. Check your mobile phones. If you can't call or send a message in your phone even if the signal in your area is strong, then it's possible that someone is using a jamming device. NTC Regional Director Jesus Loreno said. Let's help you make your mark. How to beat cell phone jammers. Use proximity avoidance. Typical cell phone jamming systems are meant to reach distances of approximately 30 feet. Use a quad band cell phone with multiple frequencies. Use VoIP on your cell phone to make calls over a Wi-Fi network and bypass radio frequencies. Use your device's data plan. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.